Uh, I know this guy's, this guy's name is Rizzo is dead, but that's, it's not who I'm looking at. I'm looking at seats taken. So really weird, but scary frog. Thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> okay. Bad start. Honestly, not the best. Looking absolutely lost. Are you cheating on kickoff? Are you going for the boost? You're doing a little bit of both. You need to choose. Either cheat, go go for this pad and sit up here, or go back and get the boost. Gotta figure it out. Wait, not that guy. And then right here, you end up faking because I think you're, you thought your teammate was going. So you just leave, and now nobody's on the ball, and then you dive when you're 800 miles away. So just don't... I mean, if you've chosen to not go, then don't go like that is horrible now you just left your teammate in a 1v2 and you're pretty lucky you didn't get scored on don't go from a mile away oh my god you did it the worst part is you like stutter step you thought about not going and then you still went you're like oh go 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 stopped and you win again just slow the fuck down bro slow down If you're 20 million, if you're the entire length of the field away from the ball, don't go diving at it. This one's fine to go for. As long oh, God. Okay. I mean, that one is still fine to go for. Got this mid boost. Careful, careful. The reason I say careful is because there's a guy in the corner. It's probably better to try to fake challenge this. Because if the ball goes past you, it's a free goal. Unless you know for sure you can get a 50 on that guy. Watch the bump. Nice. Okay, right here, he's already beating you to the ball. Just let him clear it. Just get really close. If he lets you shoot, then take the shot. But you can't... Well, I mean, dude, he's he's already... He's making contact with the ball when you're jumping. Just, like, don't go. <laughs> just, hold, just hold off. I mean, I could just tell your main problem is you're diving at the ball from 10 miles away every single time. Again, you're going, you're not thinking about who the hell is hitting the ball. You're just going to where the ball is. Make a prediction on where the fucking touch is going to go, buddy. Okay, get the pa or the boost. Yeah, sure. Try to stall some time out. <laughs> Try to stall some time for your teammate to get back. Rolling it up the wall would be really good. This, not so much. Kind of scary. But it ends up working out because your teammate is uh, the first one to it. Careful, don't just dive at it. Okay. At least you caught yourself that time. There you go, nice and slow. Get some boost on your way back. Get the big boost. Watch out for the bump. Don't, okay, you should never jump for this. Your, your teammate's already on it. You're just not paying attention, honestly. <laughs> but you shouldn't be jumping for a ball like that. Get it on top of your car. <laughs> Bro, cut to the side. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Here, let me... I'm just gonna go to free play and show this. Dude, you have this entire time to dribble. You just kept going just like this. You're not gonna get the ball on top of your car. You have to cut it. Make a threatening... Cut, and then do something else with the ball. If you just keep rolling it straight, the dude, the dude who's defending it is just gonna be like, he's just rolling it straight. It's a simple save. You gotta get a cut on the ball. You rolling it like, oh, like this is not gonna do anything. Cut to the side, make it go up, and get it on top of your car. At least do something threatening. Because what you're doing is not gonna scare anybody. It's not gonna threaten anybody. He's gonna stare at you. Be like, what is this guy doing? Full cam? Yeah, I didn't want to spoil the replay.
okay much better i was gonna say this is the ball you should be going for but like <laughs> as long as you're not fully diving at it <laughs> that's fun Bakke's mod replay review maybe what does that even mean Collect some pads. Pads, pads, pads. Get the pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Let your teammate contest. Get the boost. Keep waiting on this. There you go. So much better. Although, you can not You can just wait. Nobody's contesting this ball. I, you didn't hit it where you wanted to, but you don't have to make the shot much so much harder than it needs to be. Like, nobody's contesting. Nobody's going to be... The, you are the first one to this ball, even if you don't jump instantly. You could have just stayed on the ground. You could have just taken a shot after it bounced on the ground. Look, nobody's on it. You could have just waited. You made it so much more complicated than it needed to be. Use Bakke's mod to do the replay view. I still don't know what you mean. Are you talking about the drawing thing? So I have no reason to draw right now. Holy fuck, that was loud. Yo, Beavers, thank you for the five gifted, my man. Appreciate you, boss. Thank you so much, brother. Wait, did you dive at this from 20 feet away again? Oh, no, you were dribbling it. Okay. That's a little bit different then. Try to get back, rotate behind your teammate. Oh, it's open. Wait, be patient, 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 patient. Don't go. Nice, at least I didn't go for that one. Point check is 96. Okay, look for your teammate. Where's your teammate? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Now you see him. You should be looking for him beforehand so you know if you need to pass it mid or not. That way you're not trying to get the information and then make a play at the same exact time. Also, what a spawn. What's up, Waggles? Okay, get some pads. All free shot. Liner up. Close. Ended up getting 50. You have not been diving at the ball from 100 miles away recently, which is so good. Oh, brother. I think you've had like two shots now that they just fucking flop like this. It's better to like actually get power than to hit this sort of thing one mile an hour. And if you notice, every time you're shooting, you're hitting the ball one mile an hour, then you should be heading into custom training. If your shots consistently look like that, then you need to be training. Um, how did this happen? Wait, do you have space? Yeah, there's a bunch of space. You can just let this ball roll all the way back. There's no reason to just cut this off unless you're actually getting a pinch and following it. But you should be keeping control of this ball. And if you don't think you can, then let it roll all the way back. The ball on your side is not scary. What's scary is giving them a free shot. This is a free shot. But if you let it roll to your side and you keep possession, there's no free shot. Okay, I don't know what your teammate's doing. Let your teammate go. Don't jump. Also, you should, well, it depends on what you trust your teammate, but you should not be jumping and you should be going for it, especially if this guy's jumping for it. Because if he's jumping, that means he's going to be 10 times slower to act. Like, if there's a 50, nobody's going to be able to shoot it, right? Unless it just lands on this air mat guy's head. So if you go forward, you can actually counterattack. Um, and if there's a 50, then you can still get back to it in time. That's a, that's a pretty good demo play, but... Doesn't end up working out. Okay, where the fuck did your boost just go? How much did you have? Where'd it go? 58. Just gone. You gotta use a flip, bro. Wait, a shot! Oh, so close. 
That's in your net, isn't it? Yeah. Also, right here, wherever this was, you should be wave dashing when you land. Right here. Wave dash on your landing. That way you actually get flip momentum. You don't have to use 100 boosts to just go full speed. But, um, yeah, you got to stop diving at the ball from 100 feet away. Like, if you see somebody, you have to play. You have to watch where the touch is going and then play around that. You can't just, like, always be staring at the ball and be like, the ball is here, so I will go exactly where the ball is. Like, no, somebody else is going to touch it. You have to try to predict something. Penis. <laughs> nice, Maka. <laughs> Thank you for the 16 months. Uh, Zestolt, thank you for the sub, and Scary Frog, thank you as well. Are diamonds supposed to know how to wave dash? Because I don't. Um, no, not really. Some diamonds can, most probably can't. Guys, this is Diamond 3. I, I don't. Oh my god, how does this always happen? Chat, I'm not lying to you. These are the ranks. If you don't like it, then simply ask yourself, how am I worse than this? Because you are.